guys. I'm going to show you a game today. Uh, it was played uh, between Rudolf Spielmann and Salvi Tatarkovic. Uh, you'll see what uh, Spielmann does against a single loss of a tempo by Tok Tok Ver. Uh, it's a very pretty game, and he was basically, uh, Spielmann was basically the the tall and desi of the 1900s. He was a very uh, romantic player, uh, but you'll see what happens. Uh, we have e4. C6, the Karakon, uh, the Karakon defense, we have D4, D5, Knight C3, D takes E4, this is the main line, Knight takes C4, and Knight F6, we have Knight G3, he just wants to avoid any exchanges, uh, we have E5, now uh, this, this is a sharp variation, you can't really capture the pawn, because if you take the pawn, then you get Queen takes D1 check, King takes D1, and then Knight G4. Uh, threatening to take f2 uh, with the fork on the king and the queen or king and the rook so you have to defend this with knight h3 and then simply he can take the pawn back and white doesn't really gain anything so we have knight 2 f3 instead we have e takes d4 knight takes d4 bishop c5 adding pressure to the knight and uh, he plays bishop e3 um, now uh, 18 years later, I think it was 18 years later, uh, Alekhine plays queen to e2 check, and that's what the, uh, engine is recommending as queen to e2 check, and Alekhine is, I think he improved this game by playing, uh, queen to e2 check. Uh, but nevertheless, uh, Spielmann plays bishop e3, we have queen b6, adding pressure to the knight, and, uh, attacking the b2 pawn. We have uh, queen, B, queen e2, and you can't um, win a piece here by taking the knight on d4 because the bishop can simply take, and it comes with check, and you're basically just losing the queen. So after this queen e2, we have castles, and we have queenside castle by Spielmann. Uh, and in this position, uh, the best moves are either rook e8 or, um, I don't know, um, uh, probably rook e8 would more than likely be the best move, or maybe uh, bishop g4. But he plays knight d5. And uh, Spielmann immediately takes advantage of this because he recognizes it's a loss of a tempo. Uh, we have queen h5. And you never want to allow this against tall, nezi, or basically any attacking player, especially like Spielmann. Uh, because... Um, it, you just don't want to do that. You really don't want to let him grab onto anything. Uh, so we have knight of six, recognizing that it was a uh, a mistake. Uh, but he plays queen h4. We have bishop g4, attacking the rook, and Spielmann uh, goes against uh, goes for the initiative, and he plays bishop d3, eyeing the h7 square. We have bishop takes d1, rook takes d1, knight b to d7. Knight G to F5, and uh, you can see that the attacking prospects are kind of strong uh, in Spielmann's favor. So we have Knight E5, um, attacking the bishop, and we have Knight takes G7. Uh, can you capture this knight? Well, let's see. If King takes G7, you get Knight F5 check. King G8, Queen takes F6. And the only, and you can't really defend the checkmate. Uh, you can prolong it, I guess. Uh, you can play uh, bishop takes e3, f takes e3, queen takes e3, uh, check. But he doesn't even have to take the the queen. He can simply play king b1, and there's no defense against uh, checkmate. So instead of um, capturing the knight, he plays queen d8, and we have knight g to f5. Uh, he just comes back with the knight. We have knight g6, attacking the queen, and we have queen h6, threatening checkmate. And uh, he defends the g7 square with the with the knight. We have uh, knight e8, and then knight to f3, it's a very nice move. Uh, with the idea of coming to g4, or g5, and then threatening checkmate. So we have bishop takes e3, f takes e3, and queen f6, trying to come in for the defense. We have knight g5, threatening checkmate, and the only move to defend it is queen h8, 
And uh, in this position, um, Spielman plays 97 check, and uh, Tatakover resigned. Uh, because th there's just no defense. Uh, even if you take the knight with knight e7, then you get bishop takes h7 check, and the only move is to take the bishop with the queen, and then queen takes h7 checkmate. Uh, it's a very pretty game. Uh, it's not one of Spielman's craziest games. I've, I've seen a lot of uh, Spielman's games that uh, Agad Mator uh, shows on his channel. Uh, but this is a very pretty game, I think. It just uh, goes to show that you can even, even a single tempo is important in chess. Uh, but I hope you guys enjoyed that game, and I'll see you guys later.